Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today because on the one day time frame, we continue to see this downtrend for the Bitcoin price still just consolidating in this descending channel, which we have been in for quite some time. And I have been talking about this pattern for a long time at this point, and it has saved us many times. For example, it saved us from going long at the very top here when all the other YouTubers were saying that we are going to 85K or whatever. And I continue to say, we did not break out of this pattern yet. And here again, we broke out this time, however, did not confirm a retest. So right here, we knew the breakout was basically denied already and we needed to be open to more potential downside first until the pattern actually breaks out to the upside, which in my opinion, I do think is going to happen at some point. But for now, we just have to be a little bit patient. So for now, what we are seeing, taking a look at the RSI momentum indicator is actually a continuation of this downtrend on the RSI. So we had a second touch point right here and then a third rejection from that descending line of resistance, now quickly sending the RSI down. Although I do think that at some point we are going to break that downtrend. However, until that actually happens, as I have been saying in all of my recent videos, I continue to be leaning more bearish until the break of that downtrend actually confirms. And yes, guys, I have been saying that ever since we were breaking back below this 70.3K level, right? So I, I am not flip-flopping. I'm not changing my opinion every single day. I have had the same opinion ever since we broke back inside this range where short-term, in my opinion, it is looking a little bit more bearish. Although if we do zoom out on this one day time frame, in fact, let me go to the one week here, I continue to be bullish on Bitcoin long-term. I do think we are still in a bull market and are going to make new all-time highs at some point. Although for now, we just need to be a bit patient and wait for Bitcoin to break out of this descending channel. So zooming into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin here, recently we broke back below the 0.786 Fibonacci level and then got two rejections from that level once again, falling below the 0.618 Fibonacci level sitting at 67. 0.2k and right now you can see that bitcoin has wicked below the 0.5 fibonacci level sitting at 65.2k and of course i called this move out in my signals group saying that potentially we could be seeing a bounce from here now zooming in on the one hour time frame we have seen a little bit of that bounce so far but ideally what you would love to see here is actually that Bitcoin holds this level at least on the daily time frame, because in that case, it would not be crazy to see a, at least a little bit of a bounce or something right here before then potentially coming for a retest, seeing if Bitcoin is actually going to hold that level. But I do think for now, the 65.2K level should hold in the short term here. For example, if we hold it today, of course it is Friday right now and yeah, in weekends, usually there's very little volatility. So we could just be consolidating around that price level. So now taking a look at the support and resistance levels for the short term for Bitcoin, you can see that Bitcoin is right now trading in a big level of support from 65K all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. However, if you do not see Bitcoin holding this level of support, so trading below this 65K level and potentially flipping it into a level of resistance, well, likely we will be heading down to this short-term level of resistance sitting at 63.6K, roughly speaking, with below that another big level of support sitting as low as 62.4K, all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. So of course, this would be very bearish in the short term. Although I do want to be very clear that so long as we are still just trading inside this big level of support, I do think we can still get a strong bounce out of here. So that is just something to keep in mind. Although for now, it does not look like we're seeing that move to the upside today. So it could potentially be just again, a weekend of consolidation and then a move back to the upside on monday although just in case you do see that big move to the upside for bitcoin we will run into this short term level of resistance sitting at 67.2k which of course is also that fibonacci level that i was talking about earlier the 0.618 either way if we do break through that level then likely we are heading up to this next level of resistance sitting at 68.5k 
all the way up to 70,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. So these are some important levels to pay attention to for Bitcoin in the short term here. Now quickly, before I move on with the Bitcoin analysis, I do want to mention that we have a road to 1 million community on Discord. And this is a very active community of people that are trading crypto every single day, as well as sharing their analysis on all kinds of cryptos and just sharing their trades in general. So if that is something you're interested in, you can join the community for free with the first link in the description of this video. Now, before I get to the liquidity analysis for Bitcoin, I want to take a quick look at these Bitcoin ETF flow tables because yesterday we had a net $220 million outflow from these Bitcoin ETFs. And it was not just Grayscale selling that Bitcoin. We saw a bunch of ETFs actually selling Bitcoin. And if we do see this trend continue of the Bitcoin ETF investors selling hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin every single weekday, then in my opinion, we have to be open to seeing more downside over the next coming days and potentially weeks or so. So for example, coming back to this descending channel, if we continue to just see massive outflows from these ETFs, then we have to be open to the possibility of reaching the bottom of this range, which as of the time of recording is sitting at 57 thousand us dollars for the bitcoin price now again i am not calling for a move straight down like this i'm just saying that if we were to reach that price level at 57k it wouldn't look crazy from a technical analysis perspective because bitcoin would still just be consolidating in this range right so i'm not saying it needs to happen but I'm just saying that if it happens, it wouldn't look crazy from a technical analysis perspective. So you need to keep that in mind that it is completely possible that we go that low and it wouldn't look crazy on this chart. Now, just because we saw three days of outflows doesn't mean that I'm now <laughs> saying that we need to drop 20% in the price or anything like that. You need to be open to that possibility. And in the case that we do see this trend continue of massive outflows, just like we saw massive inflows for a couple of weeks, then yeah, I do think it will have a downwards pressuring effect on the Bitcoin price. So if you want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So now taking a look at the six month Bitcoin liquidation heat map, because obviously in the short term here, we are seeing a downtrend. And I just want to objectively look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map to see how low we could possibly go here, because typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is the most liquidity on this chart. So where there are the most yellow areas on this chart. And as you can see right here, we do have some liquidity as low as 64K. But I do think for the short term liquidity here, this looks to be, yeah, most of it, to be honest, because after that, we have a big pocket of basically nothing. And then below that, a little bit of liquidity at about 60K. But to be fair, this is already half of the liquidity that is right here. And after that, yes, we do have liquidity at 50K, but that would be a big drop down when right above the current price at about 70 all the way up to 74.5K, we have a bunch of liquidity that is also a larger pocket of liquidity than this level at 50K right here. So personally, I do think it is likely that we are taking out this level of liquidity as high as 74K, because just like I said earlier in the video, I do think we are still in a bull run. And therefore I am expecting that we are taking out this level of liquidity at some point. Although potentially we just need to see a little bit of downside first and taking a look at this three day time frame now. Yeah, it becomes pretty clear that we just took out a big level of liquidity at 66 K and there is some liquidity to the downside left in the short term here. So again, as low as about 64.6 K. Although now we can see that a lot of liquidity is building up to the upside again. So I do think that, yeah, no, I, I, don't, I don't know when it's going to be, but I do think we are taking out all of this liquidity right here. Either way, that is what I want to note for now. There is a little bit of liquidity to the downside, but most of the liquidity is to the upside. So I do think we are going to take out that liquidity to the upside at some point. Now, quickly taking a look at Ethereum on the one day time frame. Just now we are getting very close to this 0.618 Fibonacci level sitting at 33.30. So again, potentially we could see this hold for today and then get that weekend of consolidation. 
after then seeing what is going to happen at that point. I think it is very dependent on what Bitcoin is actually doing this weekend and on Monday because yeah, Ethereum basically just follows the Bitcoin price. So if you see, so if Bitcoin is looking very bullish and pumping to the upside, Ethereum is just going to bounce from this level. Although if Bitcoin continues to pull back here, yeah, potentially we could just be flipping below the 0.618 Fibonacci level, which in my opinion is a little bit bearish for Ethereum because the next Fibonacci level of support below that is at 2850, roughly speaking. But one thing you must keep in mind here is that so long as Ethereum is trading above the $3,100 level, Technically, even if we go this low, Ethereum is still targeting $4,100. So if you see the price trading this low without actually invalidating, so if you see Ethereum starting to get some kind of like rounded bottom here or something like that, potentially this could be an interesting buying opportunity to actually get in this trade because technically Ethereum would still be targeting $4,100, right? Although we must keep in mind the support and resistance levels as well. So right here, you can see that Ethereum is trading below this big level of support setting from 35.30 all the way down to 34.30, although it isn't technically a level of resistance yet because we haven't had this candle close. And in fact, we haven't flipped it into a level of resistance yet. So, so if we see the price trading into this level and then getting a rejection from there, then it is a level of resistance. Although for now, I think it is a little bit early to be calling this a level of resistance, right? Um, but yeah, you would really need to see Ethereum start trading back inside this range sometime soon. Either way, if you do see something like this, where we get a rejection for Ethereum, then the next big level of support is going to be at 3250 all the way down to 3150 for the price of ETH. However, if we start getting a bit of a bounce from this level of support, well, in that case, we will be running in to this short term level of resistance at 3650 with above that this next level of resistance at 3750 all the way up to 3800 for the price of ETH. Now moving on to Solana on the four hour time frame. And honestly, it is just depressing to, to have to take a look at this every day, guys, because Solana is just dying over the last couple of weeks. Right now, you can see that we got a little bit of a bounce from around the 0.236 Fibonacci level sitting at $138. So again, potentially we could be seeing a bounce from there. And I do think that the bottom is kind of close. If we see, for example, Bitcoin starting that move to the upside to take out that top side liquidity, then I do think Solana can get a big bounce from these lows. And of course, with that, you will see all the meme coins and stuff going crazy as well. So in that case, the Fibonacci level of resistance is the 0.382 Fib level sitting at about $152 with above that the 0.5 Fib level sitting at 163 But before you start worrying about this, we really need to break $152, right? So that is important to pay attention to. Now, the reason why I'm actually talking about getting a bounce here is because if we take a look at the four for our time frame for Solana, we already reached into oversold territory and are now basically in oversold territory. Although yes, of course it can go lower, but just looking at this four hour time frame here, I do think we need to see the RSI kind of starting to reset sometime soon back to around that 50 level. And the way the RSI actually resets is either by the price just trading sideways or getting a little bit of bullish momentum, in which case the RSI resets back to the 50 level more quickly. So again, same for ETH because we are just before the weekend, I do think. Um, yeah, we could see some more choppy price action here in the short term or potentially a little bit more bearish momentum. But I do think that over the weekend, we are going to see that big consolidation once again, because yeah, that is basically just what we have been seeing every single weekend recently. Either way, in terms of the levels of support and resistance, you can see that Solana is right now in a big level of support from 150 down to $140, with below that the next big level of support sitting from 133 down to $125. But if we get that bounce to the upside, we will have these three short term levels of resistance at 155, 160, and then lastly at 164. But before that, we obviously have that Fibonacci level of resistance sitting at 163. So personally, those are some levels that I'm looking out for for Solana in the short term here. This has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again. 
Don't forget to check out the Discord server with the first link in the description of this video. And I will see you tomorrow in the next one.